let's take a learn, turn now to a local student who was killed and a professor who's now in jail. We first told you about this on Channel 2 Action News at 6. On the left of your screen, here is that student, 18-year-old Anna Jones. On the right, the man charged with her murder, University of West Georgia professor Richard Sigmund. There is a lot to uncover here in Channel 2's Larry Sproul. He's live in Carrollton getting us those details. Larry. Uh, good evening, Candace. I have been talking to friends and family of Anna Jones all day today, and they tell me they cannot believe that she was shot and killed right here inside of this parking garage earlier this morning in downtown Carrollton. Now, they're saying she was an innocent bystander, and tonight a former college professor is in jail. I was just like really shocked. The news of the murder of University of West Georgia 18 year old freshman Anna Jones quickly hit the town of Carrollton. Carrollton police tell Channel 2 her killer is West Georgia professor Richard Signet. Caitlin Glosson is a nursing student at the University of West Georgia. She says she can't believe what happened. I was just like really shocked about it. So I didn't think like a professor from West Georgia would do that. Now here's what we know. Carrollton police say around 1230 Saturday morning, officers arrived to Tanner Medical Center after getting calls of Jones being shot. Police say everything happened here off Addison Square in the courthouse parking deck in downtown Carrollton. Witnesses say Sigmund got into an argument with another man at Leopoldo's. That's when the man told security that Sigmund threatened to shoot him. When security approached Sigmund, they saw he had a weapon and told him to leave. Sigmund then walked towards the parking deck and started shooting into a parked car, hitting Anna inside. She died at the hospital. Sigmund is charged with murder, aggravated assault times three, and possession of a firearm during the commission of a crime. West Georgia also fired him as a professor. Now, the university released this statement. It says in part, on behalf of the university, we wish to convey our deepest condolences to Anna's family and many friends. We know this news is difficult to process and affects many members of our university community. We ask that you keep Anna's family, friends, and all who have been touched by this tragedy in your thoughts during this tremendously difficult time. Her family writes this message on this GoFundMe page. She was a beautiful, sweet soul, and her smile would light up a room. As with most parents, you never think that you would need life insurance for your child. This was a devastating and senseless crime that left a lot of hearts broken, a community mourning, and a family grieving. Yeah, Larry, I can't imagine how tough this is for her family. How are they doing today? Well, Candace, like I mentioned, I spoke with them all day today, and they did not want to talk to me on camera. They just said it was just too soon as they are now preparing a funeral for Anna. Meanwhile, they did tell me that her friends will be planning a candlelight vigil sometime this week. There is a GoFundMe page set up. That information is on our website, WSBTV.com. Candace. Yeah, I can only imagine how hard it is for them to wrap their heads around this. Larry, thank you so much.